hi everybody welcome to my channel this is Anna Tiga if you're new on this channel you're very welcome if you're a subscriber or you visit this channel from time to time thank you so much again for coming in this video today I'll be showing you how to make a very simple circle skirt anyone can do this guys let's just get started in order to make a circle skirt all you need is your waist circumference and the skirt length these two things are the main measurements you need to take and you can take it in centimeters or in inches whatever your preference but absolutely i love inches so i'll be making use of these four a4 papers which i've taped together and i'll be working with centimeters instead of inches but i'll be mentioning inches in the video for a floor length circle skirt you need about three meters of fabric so what you need to do is to fold your fabric over like this so you fold your fabric like this then you fold it over again so making it two times you fold it over once then you fold the other side once yeah making two times Now we'll be working with the angle. That angle over there is where we'll take the measurement from. It's like a double fold. So what you need to do now is to divide your waist circumference by four. Divide your waist circumference by four. We're not going to be using a lot of calculations. We're just going to go with the traditional way of making a circle skirt. So here I'm taking 28 inches for the waist circumference. When you divide that by 2, you have 14. When you divide that by 2, you would have 14 inches. And when you divide 14 inches by 2, you would have 7 inches right so if you're using the tape to divide you would do it this way but otherwise you can just make a straight calculation with the seven inches you want to draw an arch in form of an arch which is one quarter of a circle so i'm using centimeters here instead of inches because of the size of the paper so you want to draw the heart between those lines. Make sure one edge of the paper is the same as the other hand as well. Same measurement. Apart from the 7 inches, you want to add half of an inch, 0 0.5 inches for your zip allowance. So you're going to be marking 7.5 inches over there. You want to be drawing 7.5 inches. Because of the cello tape I've applied to the paper, I'm not able to make my arc properly, as you can see here. But you need to make sure it's properly round enough and it's a quarter of a circle. You need to have it like that. But because of the cello tape, like I said, I'm not able. The pen is just sliding off, you know, the paper. So you need something like this, guys. Like I mentioned before, you need to add your half an inch allowance. Make sure you have the seven or whatever the quarter of your waist circumference is plus your half an inch zip allowance. Right. So I've just cross-checked that I've got enough there. Right. And I'll move on to the next stage, which is adding the skirt length. Sometimes the fabric isn't enough on one side for the length of the skirt and you need to add a few inches of more fabric but I'm gonna go with how much I have here. So you want to go ahead and add your skirt length but before then you want to add sewing allowance to your waistline. You know if you want to add a band you need half an inch sewing allowance. 
yeah you need you can hide it over there half an inch for your sewing allowance then carry on adding your skirt length Once that has been marked, you want to connect all the dots together, which forms your skirt. You want to make sure you have your hem allowance included in the length of the skirt, which is about one inch to one and a half inches. So here's the skirt completed. This is how you need to draft. If you haven't got enough fabric on one side of the skirt, then you need to add the extra bit of fabric like that for example if it ended somewhere around there you need to add the extra bit of fabric and connect it to the skirt that's what you need to do that's why it's good to cut a pattern then grab your scissors and cut out so you have the allowance hem allowance on the length also around your waist you've got your sewing allowance that you're gonna connect to the band of the skirt but i'm just gonna cut this anyway without the allowance but you definitely need your sewing allowance for the band of the skirt and once that is done your skirt is basically almost ready then you want to open it up and you're gonna have a slit you're gonna have a slit for your zip allowance so that's what you should have because I've taped the papers together it's kind of a bit different but that's what you should have your circle in the middle and your round skirt this is what you should have you want to fold one hand of the skirt like that and you just cut open for your zip allowance once that is done you want to fold the zip allowance away you want to fold it away and use your iron to iron it down At this stage, you want to measure round the waist circumference, the remaining, and cut your band for the waistline. Just measure round the waist, whatever you have. You had one inch extra for sewing allowance, then add your band. Now, if you want to add lining, you can cut the lining the same way and had your lining and that's about it very easy tutorial a beginner can do this i hope this video has been helpful don't forget to subscribe and press that like button and notification bell i'll see you in my next video till then look after yourself and bye for now